Hello and welcome back to Crypto Parametric Manufacturing. Today, let's just talk about how can we machine parts with the help of Crypto Parametric to create G codes. So let's start the video. Click on Manufacturing. Click on any NC Assembly. Define the proper name. Uncheck this to use the proper unit for manufacturing millimeters. And I will hit OK. First thing which comes in mind is to just bring the model that you want to manufacture. This time I will just bring this model and will make a default constraint. If you have wise or fashion with that you can make proper constraint, this time this is a closed path so no need to define. And I will hit OK. Hit OK. Just bring the model and manufacturing environment. This is my manufacturing environment where I can access each and everything so let's take a look step by step once you bring your model inside manufacturing environment the next step and the first step that you have to keep in mind is just to define the manufacturing coordinate system this actually what we call as the machine zero you can define this anywhere at the corner at the bottom corner or at the center of the part it depends on you but whenever you define this, make sure, click on manufacturing and must select three faces with control key. Right? And now you need to orient this. It depends on you which axis you want to be in which direction. But the Z must be an upward direction, like this. And you can just play around with all the three axes to make them oriented and I will hit OK. Next thing which comes in mind is just to refine the raw material for that I will click on the workpiece and I will create an automatic workpiece. You can click on option and add some additional material in any of the direction. Suppose I just want to add mine and you can see additional material added in this direction. Again I will keep it zero. You can go and define the raw material for cylindrical parts in terms of turning as well. But for now, I will just hit OK. This is the raw material that I define. If I just hide my actual path, then this would be the raw material that you will have at the beginning. Next, which comes in mind is just to refine the machining center on which you actually want to work. I will define the mill and I will just say OK. This is the three axis. Nothing to do, just keep following. Next, what you can do is just to define the operation, but make sure to define the operation before that you must define the MCS. Which is this one. I will just rename this and I will just say MCS1 and I will just rename this and I will call this MCS MCS1 which is my manufacturing coordinate system 1 if you have any other work on the back side of this part you can create other MCS and other operation for that part as well next what you can do you can go and define the operation in operation you can select the coordinate system that you just define. Then the machine will detect from where I should start work. And you can just hit OK. Once you define the operation, the mill window will pop up. This will actually the mill window pop up because in work center in work center I define the mill. If I define the mill turn or length or wide area these machine will pop ups over here for now I will just go for mill and now I will just define my contour contour is the path and that the cutting tool will run and will create the tool paths for you next this time you can create mill window mill volume mill surface or drill group but this time I will go for mill window which works in many of the operation and I will go for sketch placement just define this top surface and go for sketch sketch 
define some of the references close this and make this normal go for a corner rectangle and define the mill window this actually you are defining the contour and you are restricting the tool to not go outside of that mill window just work within this and I will hit OK once you define this then you can define the depth up to that your tool will work but this time I'm not defining specifically because this I this time I want to cut out the whole material you can specify the depth and you can go like this by defining the negative value you can click an option and this time I'm telling the tool to be on the contour path right if you take inside the tool will take inside and will remove some of the material outside in the form of thin wall but if you have on window contour the whole material will be cut out and I will just hit OK next we can have different roughing operation and we can have the hole making cycles and we can have the finishing operations as well for this I will just take the volume rough take the volume rough and the first thing is just we need to define the tool the tool must be 12 and you can name the tool this must be the air mill you can define the material define the units number of loads must be 2 you can define you can keep it more and the fluid length must be 50 and I will apply and say ok now I define the tool you can define multiple tools for your operations as well it will be automatically added over here you can just bring and edit the tool as well the reference you have to go for that geometry that you just define in the mill window I'll just select that atom from here or you can just click over here as well you can exclude some of the surfaces where you just restrict your tool to not go there you can close certain areas by clicking this item this time I don't have any and exclude surfaces you know exclude surfaces or sur surfaces that have certain uh, curve depth and that what actually we can call that is a scoop height as well approach wall this is a close part so I don't have to define any approach wall if you click on here and you select this wall the tool will automatically come and will start cutting from this wall the parameter is one of the most important uh, thing to define you have to click on basic and select all categories you have to define the cutting feed suppose 1200 the arc feed where you have any radius I will keep it minimum free feed where there is no cutting retract feed where the tool will retract from the cutting plane the transverse feed you can keep it high plunge speed where the tool is about to cut I will keep it minimum tolerance it will automatically take step over once the tool is going longitudinally and then it will take a step over once I just create the tool paths then I will show you what step over are actually once the tool going in this direction it will automatically take a perpendicular distance to go for the next cut so this defines the step over and we are going to define this half of the cutting tool if you define minimum half of the cutting tool you can define and can make material for finishing operation I don't have to define because in first operation I was I want to just finish each and everything you can look for the diagram and cut angle you can define it and maximum depth per cut uh, this is the distance in which the cutting tool will go downward and Z direction and will cut the material I will just keep it one scan type you can go and you can go for different one I'll go for scan type 3 climb cut you can go for zigzag and up cut conventional cut and rough only only roughing will be performed rough and profile which is the most suitable one for now profile and rough profile only on the profile will be cut out for this I will keep the rough and profile clearance distance and spindle speed you can define and the colon I just take it flat okay this is my first program so I will must define the uh, 
clearance plane and this time I will just define 0.4 see up to that my cutting tool will retract and let me just define a bit more and hit OK and now you can just go and simulate the path display the tool path you can go to calculate the gouging and where the cutting tool is not going to touch any uh, any other path like you can have wise and then you can go for the material removal simulation first I will go for this one and I will hit OK just load on the speed and hit OK see now if I stop this this what actually known as the step over which I define which was 5 if I'll go in this direction then it will take a turn over here will staking a step over of 5 and will going in the other direction see now you can go and see this time if I select the view as the wireframe you can see the step depth which I define which is one millimeter so this what actually I'm going to tell you what's actually this mean and go again and again at take one millimeter depth and cutting the tool path for you if I go and click on parameters and define the angle which I define this one and take it zero and now we'll see what happens this time the tool will go this path close and define the angle 90 to keep the tools longitudinal speed up and now I just hit OK model tree and this time you can go for real time material removal manufacturing and hit simulation you can have the NC data files over here and then I will just hit this one right and first operation it just create the roughing and then go for profile you can see so now you have done look and the final step which comes in mind is just to go for manufacturing select the file for that you want to create the uh, the NC file the G codes and I will say uh, click on this and save a CL file select uh, which is this one and I will just click on file MCD file and done and you can go and select the crew okay and I'll just done this time you need to create the pass processor for Melon we have the UNCX01 TAR P12 you can have for the turning as well and I'll just define P12 and you can save this file for your remembrance uh, so that uh, the, the total length cycle time each and everything you can have over here you can just go and save a somewhere here for your remember this and just close this for now and just done output and now we will see the file that we have just created as over here. this is not this one is not here uh, we have this file right this is the G codes and here we go this is the G code that we have just created for this and 
you can go you can check it out right and the program will end up with M30 so I hope you got uh, really basic information regarding the crew milling manufacturing environment so stay tuned and just make sure to subscribe to the channel